All right, if you can see these paint marks uh, on all of these bolts, it means that we've hand tightened them. This should be the last bolt. Um, and then everything else should be tightened. Took a while, but let's get that tightened. So I'm gonna hand tighten and then torque. Looks like it's pretty good. Hey everyone, got the building up. Uh, I went through a company, um, they were called Elite Metal Buildings and you know, customer service was great. They answered my phone calls. The building went up uh, um, as described. Not many complaints that I have. Of my complaints dealt with um, just the way things were packaged. Had a couple things that were damaged. So under this tarp is all the uh, um, roofing material and siding. So they were shipped on top of beams that I needed. I had to um, move all that siding before I could get to those, which was kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but kind of a, a small thing. Another issue that I had, uh, these pieces right here that are laying on the ground, um, that's the formed base trim, so it'll go around the uh, base of the building. They were packaged at the bottom of this crate. I should have gone through this crate anyways, did inventory uh, when it got here. But to be honest, that was just a whole heck of a lot of work. So I didn't do that. So then when it came time for me to need those uh, um, base um, trims, they were at the bottom of this box. That meant everything had to come out of this box. Uh, and I live in an area that's pretty windy, so I couldn't just leave this stuff laying around. So everything had to go back in after I pulled out the base trim. So just another annoyance, but uh, not a huge deal. Uh, everything else that went wrong was basically human error. Things on this front wall here. We use concrete wall panels. The wall panels are supposed to have an exact dimension. People have been beating on them with hammers uh, to pull them off and on. Um, and we did not get an exact dimension on this front wall. Uh, it was supposed to be 40 feet and it was about 40 foot and a quarter. So that 40 feet and a quarter inch, the problem is it's not easy to get the holes lined up uh, the way that they're supposed to be. And you can see that I don't have a girt in place there. Um, because that was even more difficult. Trying to square up this wall was very, very difficult. You can see that the tractor is holding the peak in place right now. The tractor is holding that end wall in place. And then also we have this being pulled out as well. Another issue I had on this front wall, if you see those little supports right there, um, they're offset. I could not get them. They're supposed to be right on top of um, the other vertical support there. Uh, I could not get them to uh, get in place and get bolts in to where they needed to be. Um, and again, I'm not sure if that's because of the quarter inch off that we were on this front wall. Needless to say, this front wall was not easy. I'll show you a couple more things here um, that I have done. And by the way, this sand, the sand that I was bringing in, I couldn't drive on it. And the sand will be great inside before I pour the uh, cement floor. But the sand on the outside here was not drivable. So I asked the uh, um, excavating company to bring me a little bit more dirty sand, a little bit with more clay in it for here. It's a little bit harder, but we just got a rain, so now it's real slippery. All right, so I had a very similar issue on the back wall. We were only about an eighth of an inch um, off on the back wall. The eighth of an inch is pretty small, um, but our biggest problem on this back wall here, we could not get this peak up to where it needed to be. I decided to put this A-frame together for I put it up. Uh, some people decide to do it in two different sections. You can see that it's split in the middle there. And if I did that, it's possible that I would not have had the problems that I did. But when I first put that A-frame up, someone was on a ladder there. We put it, uh, we connected there, and then we connected here. That made the center of the A-frame too low, and um, gravity was not our friend there. We tried everything to just lift the peak just a little bit to get the bolts in place there and uh, nothing was was working 
that uh, we had to take tear down all of that st uh, that we had put up that day. Um, and I thought about taking it apart at the uh, middle there and putting it up one at a time. But what I did instead is I lifted it up. I connected the middle part first. Then I came over here on a ladder and uh, connected that. But that put me about three inches too high on this side. Now, gravity this time helped us out though. Uh, we were able to use some ratchet straps and actually use the bucket of the tractor there to pull down um, to get that into place.